it, it, it took three years for your coach to start the abuse, and by then he'd become a role model, like a father figure, mm. hadn't he? So it, it was that insidious creeping into your life before he let you down so badly. Yeah, and I think if you listen to Vernon as well, and a lot of the cases that we're hearing about, it's actually for us to solve this, which is the reason why I speak out, it's not to talk about what happened to me, um, it's to try and stop it from happening to other people. And like you said, you feel it's going on with, with your perpetrator abuser, is that, that's how it happens and we have to understand how it happens so it's not like um, it's some it never starts with a violent act from some creepy bad man uh, or sometimes woman it actually starts with a manipulation a trust a grooming process and by the time anything's happened to me I completely trusted uh, my abuser and so did my family and uh, I suppose like the child's hopes and dreams, especially in cases of footballers or in, in athletics or other sports, mm. pin on that person and sometimes the family as well. And it's important you to know on that. The finishing line with your mum. So yeah, and 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 that that's why people don't come forward. It's so important for us to understand why people don't come forward for us to be able to solve it. And that's the reason because um, they befriend the family as well. They befriend you, and everybody trusts them. So for a young kid to turn around and go I don't think this is right it's, yeah it's it would so, be a big thing yeah so what what would have changed it now I mean it's really it's frightening when you, you've got, got children of my own so what what can we do to protect our children what would have protected you at that time if you could go back and play it different could, would there have been a way yeah I think so I think I mean it's amazing that people are speaking out and I thank you and all the footballers for doing it I've been speaking out for a while now and I think the first and foremost thing is that victims are believed and actually the de definition of sexual assault because I think sometimes we have certain stereotypes of that mm. I think that absolutely needs to change where we don't victim blame no matter what what gender it happens to um, I think education is the most important thing for me I didn't understand what happened the first time I believe neither did you no, and a lot of footballers all, no. did it's not like it happens the first time and you come away and go I was actually assaulted and especially for young kids it's really hard for them to understand what has actually happened. So is it a change in the in the syllabus, do you think? I, I think the, it's a change in, in education. Sexual education. I mean, I think we need to have healthy relationship education in schools, understanding our own identity and and understanding what what's our what our bodies are and what's appropriate. And also that kids can be listened to because I think we're we're all brought up in a society where, you know, the adult is the person we listen to and we don't question mm. that because again we under we have to understand what sexual abuse is sexual abuse isn't necessarily driven by a sexual act it's driven by power just as Vernon Absolutely. said power and vulnerability so that's why we have to say it doesn't just happen in football it doesn't just happen in athletics forget sport it happens in all society all walks of life in a position where somebody's in power and somebody else is vulnerable because mm. it's all about manipulation and grooming okay. I, th I think for me as well we, we also think about the way we describe things like child sexual abuse because um, actually what defines somebody as a child uh, I mean recently last week uh, as a football player that that spoke about what happened to him at the age of 18 so I, I think really we should broaden this to speak more about the sexual abuse of young people mm. um, so that um, you know we cover the whole age range yeah um, I think that's really really important um, well thank, thank you, you both for being incredibly you brave much. today and speaking out it's so important thank you